What's an efficiency expert? <laughs> well, from what I hear, there is uh, an employee over there that uh, is an efficiency expert, and what they do is they go in and they look at the organization and they figure out how things can be done better oh. to make sure that the uh, right amount of input is happening. They're uh, not ra- they're not, it's not a radio efficiency expert. Oh, the king is panicking. The oh, king is no. panicking. <laughs> it's just it's like a it's like hire a, me for the to hire me to be the efficiency expert for over there, and I'll tell you exactly what needs to be done. What's step one? He has to do radio shows. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> that he, would he, be efficient. He could blame everyone around him. He could blame his staff. Uh-huh. He could like fire people. He could bring in an efficiency expert. But in the end, the guy's got to do radio shows because mm-hmm. I've heard from his audience. They're sick of the fucking reruns at this point. It is doing us great uh, reruns, but it, it doesn't matter anymore. They don't care. They don't want to hear the show. same stuff just repackaged over and over again. Hire me to be your efficiency expert. You got to fucking do radio shows. Period. Isn't it amazing how many uh, tweets and messages and stuff you're getting? Right. <clears throat> I'm getting a lot of them that say a ton. Uh, I just can't take the replays anymore. I'm listening to your guys' show. I've been listening for like a week. It's well, really cool. Like, oh, thanks. Because then they thanks. take the same bits, and then they, they put a package around, and they think yeah, that their yeah. hardcore listeners aren't going to notice. The guy has to do radio shows. I could have saved him hundreds of thousands of dollars. Yeah. On the, is, it a, is it a broad? It is a lady. Ooh. A lady, a lady. is going to tell Howard to meet what Rupert. his organization needs. Oh, my God. He's panicking. I love it. It's hilarious. Uh, revamp uh, the studios, please. <laughs> He needs to do radio shows, and it doesn't matter where he does it from. He's He's got the big fucking place in the Hamptons. Fucking turn on a fucking mic and do an hour here and there. You could do that, right? right sure, right. sure. But he's going to continue blaming people and bringing in an efficiency expert? Yeah. When everyone knows what needs to be done. He needs more content. Hmm. Well, the efficiency expert is there to make the, to capitalize what is on what they have. <clears throat> why is he doing? Why is he doing the glasses thing? Wait a minute. If you go to his web, that's his website. Yo, yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> the whole front of it is is the what? is America's Got Talent. Yeah, because <clears throat> that's the big important thing now. Yeah, he doesn't give a fuck about his radio show. But technically, everyone wow. knows that. Everyone knows he doesn't give a fuck about his radio show. Wow. He, he gets paid okay. very well to do it. And the, the but fact, he wants to be a TV star. That's great. Yeah. There are significantly more episodes of America's Got Talent over the summer than there are episodes of the Stern show. Yeah, that's Significantly more. I mean, wow. there's yeah. maybe six radio shows this summer. E-Rock's pulling a mic to his uh, mouth. What do you got on this, E-Rock? Oh, I wish there was oh. a trigger on it. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got Sorry, on this, yeah. E-Rock? No, I was just moving it out of the way. Oh, <laughs> was it, were you talk. bringing a hoagie up quickly and you were afraid of a collision? How <laughs> about you do that with your plate? He needs a, he needs a food traffic controller by his mouth. Yeah, we got a comes. hoagie coming in on the right side. Uh, <laughs> incoming hoagie, please hold. We're Wait gonna for hire, the... Uh, <laughs> we're going to hire an efficiency expert for E-Rock. Yeah. <laughs> Lasagna stand by on 260. Uh, hoagie coming in. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Steak God. cocktail. Pull back. Steak cocktail. Meatball taxi to the chin and wait for further instructions. None of this is insulting. <laughs> None of this. <laughs> a food traffic controller. You know, that mic is just like a giant blockade. Yes. Uh. <laughs> yeah, just turn on a microphone oh, somewhere and, and do an hour or two here and there. Holy fuck. You yeah. can still hang out in the Hamptons and have all your days off. Jesus. She's not the efficiency expert of the Howard Stern show. We, we got this info from Denny, oh, as a what? matter of fact. She's the COO. Let me see. What's the C? What? She's the chief operating officer. Chief oh. operating officer is also, she's the same person. Of what? That, the Howard Stern what? universe. Empire? Yeah. What? Marcy is our newest addition to the Stern <clears throat> Show team. <clears throat> she has come on board to head up all operations for the show and all Welcome aspects aboard. of the Stern brand. You Howard know, brought her on board so as we keep growing, both as a show and a business, we can continue to produce the best radio show in the history of broadcasting. She comes to us with a well-rounded skill set. Ass. Ew. <laughs> a well-rounded <laughs> skill set. We joke about skill uh, set. I think like she wrote that. <laughs> she, oh, she probably you? imagined the yeah. An experience in management uh, consulting, business expansion, finance, coaching. Coaching? Finance coaching. 
This probably had to make your money. No, it's not finance coaching. Oh, it's finance, fine. comma, coaching. Exactly, you no know, comma reading, fucking tucked in shirt, <laughs> <Yeah>. motherfucker. <laughs> I hate the way Sam, today. Sam ignores commas and I hate it. <laughs> Could you imagine <laughs> what, what this would be like in the like early 90s, how oh, he would have joked no. about this? If well, if he found out a radio show well, hired someone like this? You think uh, you think she has the balls to tell Howard he needs to do more radio shows? The King's just, New Clothes. But they'll look at everything else, but not the obvious. The King's New Clothes. You can't His audience wants new new content, could you more blow new that, content. Could you blow that picture up? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like. On creating the... Pr- I'm not going to say anything bad because... You can't. You know, you You're can't. not allowed you get, to. You get in trouble here. But she looks like an attractive girl. Yeah, I think she's cute. Yeah. yeah. I realize something. I don't know though. if you're allowed to say that. I don't either. I'm very petrified at what I'm I saying right I now. I don't know if you're allowed to say that. I'm going to be very nice. So I guess she's new uh-huh. and not a history of radio broadcasting. She's something else. But chief operating officer sounds like it would be a higher title than executive producer she, coo was a giant title yes well of her own company not his right she's, she's no she's the, she's chief the CEO operating officer of, of the stern of empire howard stern and, and, oh. and it says with marcy's help howard is more focused than ever on creating top programming for both his old and new fans alike wow. he's Good, not motivated top programming how do you have top programming when you have no pro- right. program right yeah they, they took all his shows off his channels yeah, yeah, apparently. Well, because they're blaming they're, everybody yeah. else instead of someone uh, being brave enough and saying, Howard, you're, you're not doing enough radio for your fans. But do you think after 30, Period. After 30 years or, or however long he's been there, they brought in somebody to be Gary's, Baba Booey's boss? Oh, that's hey. what I just thought of. Oh, that's wow. That is a little odd. You know, I'm, 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 for I'm sure he's blaming Gary and everybody else because, you know, the buzz isn't like it used to be. And he could get the buzz back by just doing more radio, period. That's that. That's your solution. It's probably the other stuff around like that. I don't think anybody's telling Gary how to do his job. I mean, again, the guy uh, well, knows and, how to get guests. and Well, they're also, uh, they're also softening uh, Howard in general. Yeah, a little right? softer. I got my head around. I heard they're getting uh, rid of a lot of the edgy <clears throat> stuff. Really? Oh yeah. I heard tell that uh, he's part a more of the, of a family guy now. What? <laughs> I heard part of the reconstruction yep. over there is doing away with any kind of offensive um, uh, pictures and writing and things like that that might be in the area. Yep. To just soften it down and make it more America's Got Talent than the no old way. Howard Stern show. What was the, fa- the, I, yeah. the, the the studio videos I've seen? I haven't been in there, but it didn't seem anything was. It just seemed like a TV studio. No, I think it's just the um, like the, back office, the so. office area, like like All that what, stuff. what people have. They're to They're softening deal with. everything over there. Yeah, yeah. Didn't so, they used to have like a, a mannequin with a ball gag and lingerie gear or something on the E show? No, I was Roland. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> he's sitting over yes. there. <laughs> he's all in with the America's Got Talent. Yeah, that seems and blowing to be off the, the radio thing. Oh. Which, you know. Wow, that sucks. <laughs> it's weird. It is weird. It's weird. I, you know, who, who am I to say what is like good for got him talented. or isn't good for him? I mean, that's fucking great. You're on a it's an, it's an okay huge show. It's network like, TV show. It's just, it's okay. It's just, it's it's basically like the Gong show, really. But it seems like it would suck for the with a little fans. more uh, w- With a little more uh, class, maybe? A little more <laughs> shine? Yeah, yeah. But it's just a Gong show. You shined up the Gong show. <laughs> That's all it is. You're J.P. Morgan. <laughs> right. You really are. Instead uh, of hitting that gong, you hit the stupid X. Damn. The buzzer. It seems like it would just suck for the fans, though. You'd think, right. Like the radio show, and then all of yeah. a sudden... No, he just needs to do more shows, period. Man, they, he could hire all the people he wants, but the, his fans need more content. But That's what's new obvious fans, out there. Too. You get newer fans that know him from America's Got Talent. And come over to the Stern show because it's like, oh, he's got a radio show. Awesome. I like him on that show. So they're new fans that don't even know about the old days, and uh, you know they could listen to a little Hollywood scuttlebutt thing, you know, during his show and be like, oh, this is a good radio show. Are they uh, getting rid of the Sibian or whatever the fuck it's called? <laughs> that fucking big dildo machine that <laughs> girls would ride. I don't <laughs> think that's did, it did his very AGT. Did his uh, efficiency no. expert have to ride that before <laughs> before getting the job? Was that part of the job interview? <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> Holy be... fuck, he's losing his mind over there. Yeah. I thought money just brought you happiness in the end. Yeah, I don't well. think so. Mm. I thought money just solves everything. I like, uh... I don't know if you're not efficient. Now we got to cut Pop the... our picture up again. Now I'm we not got... going to say anything bad. I just want to see something, because... Yeah, if you're going to take a photo for a website, you should touch up the roots a little. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm just saying. Yeah. That's the look, man. That's all. Is it? Is yeah, that? they let the roots grow the in The darker all roots are... <laughs> yeah. I think right. she looks better in the picture blown up than she did with it smaller. Like, usually when you blow up someone's phone, yeah, yeah, you're like, horrible. Oh, boy. She's very sexy. That's the three stages of um, Twitter photos. Mm. When, you, when you look at somebody on Twitter, right. and, and you just see the tiny little icon next to their tweet, and you're like, and then you, you, you press on, you hit on their, their Twitter page, and you see, you see their little picture gets a little bigger, right. and then you click on the picture, and it gets full, and, and you can be like, oh, that girl looks, oh, the, oh boy. <laughs> you, ever, you ever get tricked and think the avatar is like a girl or something, yes. and then it turns out to be a man? Uh, yes. No, 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 not even. Not even that. A man? Yes. Not even that. You, you make it bigger, and all of a sudden it's like it's an actual. It's a picture of the Grand Canyon. Yes, I thought it was. Minute, I thought I, it was a chick. I thought it was a girl. Have you ever been? Yes. What I mean, that's that? the, that's the complete exaggeration. That's but crazy. This I'm like, is... oh my god! I thought this was something else. She looks sexy. But it's the Capitol building. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's a big tit. Oh, yeah. Yes. It's, it's, it's so we're going to, like, interview her on the air and ask her if she's, like, you know, a three-input woman and all oh, that? Or, come on. That's, or what? That's, that's a thing of the past. You yeah. can't do that anymore? No. no this oh, is I see. Management consultant. So everything he's ever told his fans has been complete bullshit, right? People can change over time, Opie. Yeah. I, I mean, you, I'm talking about change a little bit. You grow a little bit, but. Right. The funny thing is, if you think back to uh, the old days of Stern, I was a Stern aficionado back in the day, mm. listened all the time. And uh, if you listen back, he always, always, always wanted to be this guy. Right. It, he came off like anti-establishment, anti-Hollywood and everything. But every opportunity he got to do something like that, he jumped on and wanted to be the TV guy, the guy that was accepted by mainstream America and everything. It just couldn't pull it off until, you know, now he is. But he's doing a who gives a fuck with TV show. Eh, yeah. And making it sound like it's the greatest and biggest thing ever. I mean, I mean, good for him. He's on NBC. I'm not. And yeah, there's a little jealousy involved, of course. But yeah, but don't make believe it's some amazing fucking TV show. It's you're a fucking judge on a gong show type show. Iraq either wants to talk or he's waving off a stack of hotcakes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not yeah. sure. Iraq, yes. I would never do that. <laughs> yes. Um, no, Howard, Howard always used to just shit on Carson and, and Leno. But right. You know that's exactly what he wants. He it, wanted the Tonight Show. Yes, 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 and he would shit on it all the time. But you could tell he wanted that uh, TV and, and mainstream America acceptability. And I guess what he just fired Tim Sabian, who was a soldier for him. What happened Did with Tim Sabian? Fire? Nobody really knows. It's oh very, shit! It's very shady. They buried him out in Jersey, right? Oh, no. He took uh, a leave of absence for, uh, I guess, some, for some family issues, but nothing's been confirmed. Oh, Sabian? To, we'll won't see him no more. Him at, yeah. <laughs> won't see him no more. He's a good dude, man. I, I, I told Sabian what was going to happen to him. Did you? Yeah, I told him when Howard's done with him. Did you have a crystal ball? Out the door. You, did you do it with a crystal ball in front of you? Because well, he might have listened then. Look, I, I, I back up everything. You want? I'll read the fucking text I sent him. Holy shit. But while he's looking for that, they replayed your segment a couple weeks ago Ooh. when you were on. That was great. Again, giving another show great radio. <laughs> yeah, no. you see, what are you fuck? What are you gonna do on the vacation? Go to Florida and be a stunt boy for Bubba? <laughs> 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 Anthony's the new turd. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, turd, oh, turd. I want to be turd. Love turd, 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 turd. There's no more turd. He's hitting the gas. He's going toward the wall. Turd, turd. turd. That guy really did risk his 40, life doing that, though. Fifty. <laughs> oh, is that an awful fake? Why?